Hey everybody, it's Chad from Nature Box Pet Emporium here today to do a fish unboxing. So we have us here a shipment of fish. It's been a little while since we've done a fish unboxing. We've just been so stinking busy lately, but those are good problems to have, so it's not a complaint even a little bit. But because we haven't shown, shown some love to the fish side for a while, it is due. Uh, Elisa, why don't you pan over and show everybody the new beta system we got recently. Speaking of, and tell them about it. And walk closer to it. So this is our fully filtered beta barracks system. Each compartment um, is plumbed to a sump. So these containers aren't just aerated, they are completely filtered, allowing us to keep Bettas, invertebrates, salamanders, and all sorts of cool stuff. We're only just getting it set up, uh, so we have plans to fully stock it over the next couple weeks. But this is what we're real, real excited about. Um, it's really advancing the keeping of bettas from the old four-ounce deli cup sitting on the cold shelf of yesteryear. And speaking of bettas, first thing out of the box we got us. A handful of betas. I think those are probably just what veil tails. Some, some cheaper, uh, more you know, less fancy betas. Yep, just some pretty normal veil tails. But we will have some really cool Thailand import betas uh, this weekend. Yes. This weekend, so probably uh, Sunday, Monday. We'll have some really cool uh, betas. You know, some of the koi, Nemo, etc. Some of the betas that are you know forty dollar flavor beta fish. So we got us some guppies. We got us some cichlids. Got some assorted Dalmatian type of mollies. At least it should pay attention to the camera where it's pointing. So, looking at the bag, some more various guppies. All right, box two. Still exciting. I don't care how many times you do it. It's exciting to see what you got in the box. Unless it's a box just full of ghost shrimp, not too exciting. I mean, if you eat ghost shrimp yourself, they are exciting, but otherwise, not overly exciting. So, box number three. At least, should get closer. So everybody can hear what is being said and see what is being said. So we've got some gold severums. Gold severum, check. Some rasbora. Pretty cool. Florida bread. We've got more fish. Eh, some rainbow sharks. Albino ones. Albino rainbows. Pretty cool. Albino rainbow sharps will be on special for a dollar each this weekend. Some more of said fish that will be on special for one whole dollar. Sword tails. Assorted. And yes, more assorted sword tails. Box four. Will be fish, I'm guessing. All right, and in this box we have some shrimps. So, skittle shrimp, just a menagerie of colors blue, red, yellow, mottled gray, etc., etc. We have. Peak of some sort. Barracuda. Miscellaneous Barracuda. Small. <laughs> That's Ryan's favorite. We'll get some pictures of the teeth later. Yeah, I've never had it. I mean, I assume as it's Barracuda, it looks like a half beak, but it's not. What can you tell me about this fish? Um, they have crazy long vampire teeth and are not afraid to use them. So we'll call it the Elisa fish. This is a mystery fish. 
This is. Uh, that looks like one of our red shoulder severums. That's a good size. It's about palm size. Another red shoulder severum. So we got two of those. This is a Tanganyikan Frontosa, some sort of abbreviation blue. It's a blue one. You have to take my word for it. Another one of those uh, Severin's orange shoulder. Oh, we got some wiggly noodles. It's a spaghetti. Coolie loach. Always a fun fish. This is a long one. Miscellaneous of fire eel. Yeah, it's a really nice sized fire eel. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's labeled as six inches or so, but definitely bigger than that. And then last in box number four, we have Achilles, some epistogrammas. So a pair of killifish, these are really cool. I'm not sure if you can give those the old zoomy zoom zoom. Or try and focus on them even a little bit. You kind of see the little blurs in the bottom of the bag. Well, the little eyeballs. They look cool. That's all you need to know. Alright, so we're on box number five. Alright. In box number five, we have Endlers. We've got more Endlers. I wonder if before the Endlers come, there's the Startlers. <laughs> Just uh, use one of those voiceover laugh tracks for doing all the sitcoms. Just canned laugh, yeah. We'll probably make that happen. So we've got some assorted female, some assorted female betas in here. Somebody's excited. <laughs> all right. So uh, Molly's. I really like those salt and pepper Dalmatian ones. Depending upon who's labeling them, I think those look cool. And yeah, this is pretty cool. So, elephant knife. It's definitely a Ryan fish. Yeah, um, their common name is the thermometer knife fish. Why is that? You know, I wish I had an awesome answer for you, but. Because they look like a thermometer. Just guessing. Or maybe they could tell you the temperature of your tank if you ask them. Perhaps. Alright, so we're on to box number six. More assorted platies. More assorted platies. Always a favorite in the stable of the store, yes, the Neon Tetra. A little washed out now due to shipping, but they look great. No fallen soldiers. Give them 24 hours, they'll look awesome. In fact, they'll look pretty neon colored. So, some Texas cichlids. Some African abbreviation, I don't know. Leaker eye. This is an abbreviation that Lisa doesn't know that we'll have to look up on the invoice. And last one for this box, Red Devils. They put a lot of visual barrier in this one, so can't really see them, but they're pretty cool. Hard to go wrong with a Red Devil. Unless you like your other fish, in which case, definitely go wrong with the Red Devil. What do they call them? The Red Devil. Last box. Is hopefully not minnow, yes. And the last box, wah, 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 is a bunch of feeder guppies, so not overly exciting. But 
that's that. I hope it was everything that you thought it was going to be and more. I mean, obviously, I am out of my mind excited. Uh, not a real lot of cool stuff on this fish, on this shipment, fish shipments rather. The thermometer fish is really cool. Highlight for you, Elisa, was? Um. Everything was a highlight for Elisa, judging by the tone in her voice and the excitement on her face. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, or heck, even if you didn't enjoy it, this is probably not the most exciting one, subscribe to our channel anyway, because we do have some exciting videos that come out. So hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell in the comment, or hit the little bell below the window, and comment below what your favorite fish was. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.